Where are we going? Today we are going into the woods. The Psychonauts team is uh, is doing some work in an environment that is like the Pacific Northwest uh, woods, and so there's going to be more of that in the game at large. So we're going into the woods because none of these people have ever been outside before, and we want to show them what trees look like and rocks. It's because they spend their summer camps indoors playing. Video games. My first like ever memory period is like sitting on the floor with like a TV in front of me playing Mario. Oh, I remember uh, we went to like my my cousin's house and like they <laughs> they had a Nintendo and they were playing like that volleyball game and I had no idea what a video game was at that point. It was amazing. My dad had an Atari 2600 and then there was this one game, James Bond, and there's like this red gradient that comes down. I was super scared of it. The uh, main lodge of our summer camp, uh, oddly enough, the first video game I played was that summer camp. Space Race? Space Race? Uh, it's like the second video game. Night Driver? Have you ever seen Night Driver? No. It looks like a road coming at you. And then my dad brought home an Odyssey, the first Odyssey, and uh, that had like the controllers that sat on the floor, they're so heavy they'd sit on the floor, and you twist them like this, and they had a knob on it called English. Really? So you play Pong and then you twist, kind of, you right. twist the English knob to make the bop, 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 bop. Oh, the Why is that English? Because it's uh, untrustworthy and cheat cheating, <laughs> like English people. So I think my first game system was the Game Boy. And the first game I had on it was Kirby's Dream Land. And so I remember playing through that game and having not a gamer outlook and starting to piece together game concepts. So like there was this one sequence where you're flying and the background is scrolling by. And I let the game sit for several hours because I was thinking, it's got to get, get somewhere. <laughs> like, I'm moving across the world. Like, this has to end. It can't just be infinite. And I didn't understand, like, what a scrolling background was at the time. My dad bought an Apple II. Like, my dad was one of those, like, gadgety dads who wanted to buy, like, hot gadgets. He got, like, a Walkman when they were still $200 and they were brand new. And so he got an Apple II, and it came with Adventure, which was the Colossal Cave. Uh, and that's probably like one of the first things I remember spending a lot of time playing is the Colossal Cave and like mapping it all out and drawing little hand maps and like figuring out all the words and trying to finish it. Just getting lost in there and it being this like really big, open, weird world. And that's the thing I remember most about playing games when I was a kid is not knowing what any of the boundaries were and not knowing like there weren't any genres. You didn't know what you could or couldn't do. You didn't know what was going to be in games or not. Because a lot of people, you know, when you're building a game, the game you release will be their first video game. There's someone in the world who's that, who's that, that is the case for. And so always thinking about that person and like what parts of your game are going to make sense to them and which parts aren't, that, that's interesting to me. Favorite game? Metal Gear Solid. Donkey Kong Country. Street Fighter. No. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's tough, man. <sighs> Favorite game ever? Just it's probably Zelda: Link to the Past. I ha I, I know mine. Or maybe Final Fantasy II. What is yours? Mine is uh, Majora's Mask. Super Metroid. That's like my favorite game. It's probably Doom. It's a, I know it's everyone says that, but it's true. You're the first on the bus. Really? Nice. Oh, okay. Yeah, Doom is awesome. System Shock 1. Yeah, I just pick one. I hate picking favorites. Can you tell me why System Shock 1 is your favorite game? I always say Katamari Dumpsy. I don't know. No, I can't. Uh, Deus Ex. Psychonauts. <laughs> nice. I'm not saying this because, like, work here, but uh, Secret of Monkey Island is, is my favorite. Oh, cool. And it, it just kind of had the right kind of like humor and whimsy. I super love that game. I just yeah. kind of remember like, there are times when like, you kind of get into this like mode of playing video games and you kind of play what everyone else is playing and it's always like some kind of fighting game, some kind of like sports game or war game. And then like, when a funny game comes out, you're like, oh shit, I forgot games can be like this. <laughs> so it's kind of cool. Metal Gear Solid on PlayStation 1 was kind of like a renaissance of like me getting back into video games because it like they they 
integrated the gameplay and the story like in a way that I hadn't really seen. Um, and it was, I don't know, it was almost like a, a jumping off of where a lot of um, AAA titles kind of went after that. What's your favorite game? Really? I never finished it. My favorite game of all time is Day of the Tentacle. Yeah, I've heard that's very good. I heard. <laughs> That's not just because this man is sitting I'm going to cover my ears and you say what your favorite game is on. It's la, true. It's absolutely true. La, 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 uh, that la, and Monkey la, Island 2. Those two games, they changed my life a lot. And uh, now I'm here, so... Yeah. Thanks, they Tim. gave you a job. Thanks, Tim. <laughs> Yeah. Alright, we got everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Put a wicker man thing going. Yeah, okay. One night. 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 One night